Yo, what's going on guys? This is the finale for chapter 2. Hope you guys, or for episode 2 I mean, hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. I am. It's pretty cool. I like the game so far. It's nice. It's cool. It's different. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hemmels, details about your father. It must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping us. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll uh, leave you to it then. I'm just waiting for this report to be done. All oh, right, the more the more I hear about my father's life, the worse it gets. It's bad enough he had business connections to the uh, to the likes of Falcone, but Mayor Hill eluded him, sending innocent people to Arkham Asylum. I need to know more about what happened there. After all these years, Alfred revealed things to me about my parents I'd never heard before. How my father engaged in corrupt business dealings with Carmine Falcone and Mayor Hill. He claims he kept this all away from me for my own protection. Whatever his reasons, I still have questions that the man answers. Thankful that Harvey was able to pull strings to get me access to Falcone. Despite what happened, I may not have gotten everything I wanted from the mob boss, but at least Falcone is no longer around to poison Harvey's mayoral campaign. The Batman paid the mayor a, vi uh, mayor a visit. He folded like I knew he would, but what he revealed is troubling. Hill confirmed that my father was indeed involved in the corruption from years ago. Locking innocent people away in Arkham Asylum, he even put away Oswald's mother. I rushed to warn Selena that Penguin was coming after her and ended up trying to kiss her. She's a criminal by trade and I should keep my distance, yet I can't seem to help myself. We both have to be careful though. Penguin is dangerous and he won't hesitate to exploit our personal connection if he discovers it. I introduced Penguin to the Bat, not surprised he would be a fan. As, a strange, as strange as that might, be, might seem. The penguin is obviously working on some bigger plan, but Selena is the one in intimate, immediate danger. And what happened with Falcone, I don't intend to under, underestimate him again. After what happened inside GCPD's own headquarters, it's apparent that Gordon and his department are going to need all the help they can get. Whoever drugged Montoya and got her to kill Falcone did it right under the lieutenant's nose. He may be disdainful of Bruce Wayne. But he needs Batman now more than ever. Vale is relentless and she definitely has a nose for news. She was at this station before I could get myself out there. I didn't give her anything, but I'm guessing she'll put the pieces together before long. Falcone's gone, killed by a police officer's bullet. However, his fate doesn't make my life any easier. His criminal influence over Gotham may be over, but I still don't have the answers I wanted from him. He manipulated others for years, but in the end, he became the victim of someone else's manipulations. 
Jim Gordon says she's a good tr cop, true blue. Where his words? Yet someone got her to murder Carmine Falcone in cold blood, turning her into a pawn to further a mysterious revolution. Unless I figure out who's really behind the killing and why, she's she'll unfairly take the fall. Carmine Falcone and Mayor Hill are the root of that, that corruption. They claim their family is involved too, but that can't be true. Carmine Falcone implicated my family in his corrupt business dealings with Mayor Hill. It's got to be a lie. The spot where my parents were assassinated. The alley across from the Monarch Theater is the place my childhood ended and the rest of my life began violently. Despite the fact that I installed the plaque there to honor them, I made sure the alley has looked the same as the night my parents were shot. Why should I attempt to erase what can never be forgotten? Instead, I need to understand why they died. Ooh. Alright. Let's watch this shit. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. And they have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... That I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. There, I'm afraid it's not a very good op. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. <laughs> Shit. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. A 
I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I do what the police can't. I get the job done. Now give me the report so I can do my job. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dan, Lieutenant. Whose shoes are in front of the house? I don't know. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rate, income inequality, and yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. Oh shit. I didn't hit square. Damn, what the fuck? I why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator. Damn. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Don't think about the odds or you'll make mistakes. You have to stay focused. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Batman. You two, get out of here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there? Yes. No, thank you for volunteering. Please, no. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly.
it's done. Make for the police line.
Damn. So they could take care of herself. I don't fucking know. Jesus Christ. Oh. Bitch. Shit. Take off. Fuck, I feel bad she got shot, but she could take care of herself. Harvey's a fucking pussy. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Damn, that shit was hectic, man. They only gave me like five seconds. Choose that shit. I don't fucking know. Episode 2, Children of Arkham. Narrow margins. Did you ease Falcone's pain or did you make him suffer? 70.4% 70, 70 gave him the morphine. <laughs> did you kiss Selena? We tried to. 78.5%. Did you visit Mayor Hill as Bruce or Batman? 42.7% went as Batman? What? 
Did you withdraw your funding from Harvey's campaign? 91.2% of the players continue to fund Harvey's campaign. Did you save Selena or Harvey? 37.9% of players saved Harvey over Selena? I mean, true. But I just felt like she could have fucking... She could have protected herself. And she's a badass and Harvey's a pussy. And pretty much Harvey's the only person that could save... Gotham, because he's the only fucking mayor. I don't fucking know. I always feel like I never do anything good in this fucking game. Or any of these games. Next time on Batman, the Telltale Series. about your father sending in some people to Arkham. Sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They need to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? Sounds exciting. All right, guys. In the next episode, we will be playing. Uh, excuse me. We'll be playing episode three, the New World Order, with Gotham on the brink and Bruce under a fire. A new generation of supervillains rise to prominence and threaten to overturn the traditional institutions of power. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. Peace.